Charts and graphs help create a visual representation between spreadsheet data sets and the entire spreadsheet. You can create a graph or a chart using the chart group in the insert tab, as I have done in my example. Before you work with the insert tab, let's define the basics of the column chart I have created. As I point to the different parts of the chart, the tooltip will appear to identify the names of the parts. When I click on the chart to select it, handles appear in the corners and on the edges of the chart. This identifies the boundaries of the chart, separating it from the spreadsheet and can be used to size the chart. The chart becomes highlighted as well as the data in the spreadsheet. We can also edit colors, patterns, fonts, and size by selecting the different parts of the chart. The chart can be displayed as bars, columns, lines, pieces of a pie, or other graphical interpretations. In my chart, the vertical axis on the left represents the temperatures and the category axis represents the days of the week. The columns represent projected or actual temperatures and the data points represent the days of the week. When I point to one of the columns, the tooltip displays the value of that column. The legend helps the viewer to understand what the data represents. You might want to add a chart title or subtitle or other information to your chart to clarify what data is being shown. Before you can use the Insert tab, you need to select the data that we want represented in our chart. That will be the topic of our next tutorial.